Driving into two hips will not stop the bridge, but that will, that um, lizard will. Any time the guard wants to come off the mat, my hip drives down. So it's a good skill to have. You could turn around and say, well, it's going to close down the hoopla every time. Yes, it will, but only to one side. So watch. Car's on top. No more position. He hugs the head, he goes for this, and I tie it up. Now I know when I bridge, he's going to be doing this. There's no way I'm going to bridge. So I just lean back on my head. Let me take him this way. Okay. You can, it only stops one side. So if you've got that quickness of thought, um, and you're up against, we're talking about better players here, um, you don't see too many white belts, possibly even blue belts doing this. So the minute he hugs my head and ties this up and I'm here, I start the bridge car on this way and he's heavy on this hip. There's no way my right hip's going that way. But my, there's nothing pinning my left hip. Now again from her, I'll also be securing this so we can't post because if I just switch into that, his arm can come out like that. So the minute I start to do that and he's being heavy here, this arm comes up and out in this position. It's an even easier bridge. Because there's all this weight's going to one side. We don't have enough of that. Let's take it one step further. Okay. Let's go back to our very first technique that we looked at in week one. Let's just say Carl puts the hand in the collar here. I tie it up. Right? I know if I bridge this way, Carl is doing the lizard walk. Okay. To the back step. So what happens if I do this, but I actually bridge him this way? And now car is doing the lizard walk to keep my hip down. And now I just switch. So bridging to the wrong side can be another strategy. All of this is a strategy. So again, if he um, hooks my head, perfect. Goes for that underhook and I tie up the arm, right? I know a good player is gonna pin the hip on this side. And I have this arm tied up, okay? So I'm gonna beat him by going this way. And if he's good at this lizard walk, he's gonna pin this hip. So now I just do that, and he's pinned my hip, okay? The minute he has, gosh, I'm on top. So again, one more time. He pokes the head. I control this. Normally with that we're going this way. But I'm gonna bridge this way and Carr's gonna pin my left hip with his right. Perfect. Okay. So now there's no way. 
Okay. But now he, this hip's down. So he just come back the way he wanted it already. And that will uh, uh, make this skate a lot easier. So that makes sense. So two variations on that. Um, first one is if you're not that used to doing that lizard walk, try that a few times and you want that feel of when you're spinning one hip. And then if you're a wee bit better at it, go for the first tie up and fake him the other way and then go back the other way.